Before you're born, you put together a blueprint of who you are and what you would like to become in this lifetime. And then you're born and you are drastically separated from the truth of who you are, which is a multidimensional being. You find yourself in this human condition. You find yourself dependent on external factors for food, for just for survival, right? When you're a little baby, you really can't do anything on your own. So you get fully grounded and anchored into this human body or human condition. You are just cut off from the rest of you. But you carry all of that essence within you. It is encoded into your DNA. It is locked away, just waiting for those aspects of you to be able to open up and to come back online, to become perceivable by you. You could call it a remembering of the truth of who you are, right? We call this this process, you know, downloading or getting in tune with higher frequency energy and opening up to your multidimensional gifts, those types of things. But as we navigate this journey and the more we get focused into this time-space reality, this physical universe, the more we seem like we're separated from that and we're kind of maybe cast adrift in an ocean without any sort of destination there to be seen or experienced, right? Or to be perceived. So the mind goes to work and tries to establish a destination, right? We're in this reality. We're experiencing time moment by moment by moment by moment. So we feel like we need to be constantly doing certain things to achieve certain results. We get into a situation where we keep ourselves grounded or anchored into a lower frequency timeline. We fully identify just as the human and your life and your reality tends to follow that path. So the more you walk down your path and the older you get, you're going to start to feel something burning deep within you, something calling you forward, something that says, hey, there has to be more to life than this. Let's get off this hamster wheel and let's try to figure out what we're truly here for, our life purpose, our soul purpose. I know I felt that there was always something so much bigger out there to be experienced or to be known or uncovered that I spent a lot of my life looking for it. I used to really be involved in looking at, you know, doing ghosts, uh, communicating with ghosts and spirit and things like that. This is before I had my awakening, before I started to walk this path. It was something that was always um, very, very interesting to me. And there was never a doubt in my mind that these things existed, that they were out there, that there was energy that was unseen that was just there, but we couldn't perceive it. I couldn't perceive it because I was too focused into this reality and reliant on my five senses. So the further you go along in life and the more you veer away from the aspect of you that actually dropped into this universe and manifested this body, you're going to probably start to feel this emptiness or unfulfilled feeling within you, right? It starts with the lower chakras. You just, just things don't feel, feel really comfortable. There, you start to question life. There has to be more to life than this. I, I chose a career or I chose a life path based on limiting beliefs, based on what I can make the most money in, or um, cho chose a relationship because I felt then that I would be loved from an external perspective and these things, you go down these paths and these things really start to wear thin and this voice within you starts to get louder and louder and louder. It starts to come forward and sometimes it will stop you in your tracks. For me, it was that enormous crown pop where I popped out of my body, right? Just stop me in my tracks. Every moment from that point forward was completely different than it had been before that experience. That was a life-changing moment. That's my higher self saying, here we go. Let's change course. Let's change direction. And that happened extremely. It was spontaneous and drastic, right? I never could have thought that I'd be sitting doing this six, seven years ago, right? I was cranking along as a CPA in my old career. So drastic life changes, right? So the more you go down your path, your life's journey, and the more you continue to allow your ego to distract you, the more you're going to feel this spark, this thing within you, this unfulfilled feeling 
grow. It's going to expand. And that is your higher self trying to move in. And it wants you to wake up to the simple fact that you are so much more than what you perceive by looking in the mirror every single day. You are not a human being. You are a limitless energetic being having a human experience. Now, we start to want to incorporate those higher frequency experiences into this reality. So we need to be able to take that energy that is higher frequency and be able to experience it. So we have to raise the frequency of, of our body in order to become that energy so that that energy can be reflected out into reality. It's like we move it down into here and then it reflects out into here. And in order to do that, we need to cut loose from all the things that truly don't serve us. So all the things that your ego used to get you up in the morning, to get you out of bed, to make you feel like you had a job or you had some sort of purpose to do. This was a purpose based on 3D limited thinking. You had to go off, you had to go to work, right? You had to work this job, you had to work all these hours so that you could receive a paycheck. And your ego thought that that's, that's what life was. That's what being successful meant. That's what being fulfilled meant because look, you had money, maybe you could buy buy the things that you wanted to buy, right? But you go down that path long enough and you realize that that no longer fulfills you. That no longer holds that meaning that it did before. In fact, maybe even some of the things that used to excite you before because they were based in lower frequency timelines don't excite you anymore. Maybe you like to party, right? And now that just doesn't do it for you. Okay, for me, you know, I was really into cars. I loved working on cars. That just didn't, doesn't seem to hold the same energy as it did for me before. So were these distractions? Well, these were things that I felt that were necessary for me to occupy my time that maybe took me away from the stresses of life, right? So we could call them distractions. And they were fun at the time. But now I've had this ma massive experience. I opened up to a greater universe. A lot of the things that I used to distract myself with on those lower frequency timelines just don't do it anymore, okay? Once you have a taste of that magic, and I know you watching this video, you've experienced synchronicities, right? Maybe you've seen a craft in the sky. Maybe you're seeing shadows and orbs and things like that. So you know you get this feeling that there's something else out there. There's something else communicating with you, and that is trying to get your attention, trying to be, bring awareness back to the fact that you are more than this physical body, okay? So once you start to get a taste of these magical experiences, all the things that used to hold you to that lower frequency timeline kind of lose grip. They no longer serve you like they did before. Instead, now you're wanting to experience more of that magic, right? So you start to look out there for it. Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? And then something interesting happens. We start to experience dense energy. All the energy that was in here holding you to those lower frequency timelines, the dense stuff, the heavy stuff, the stuff we may judge or label as dark, starts to come forward. Remember a little while ago when I said, you want to take that higher frequency energy and bring it into the body? Well, in order to do that, you need to move out the dense energy that's been taking up space. So we do that by feeling it, by alchemizing it. You need to feel it so that you can alchemize it, right? When we feel this dense energy that we would term as dark or maybe traumatic energy, we alchemize it. It starts to get it moving. We give it attention. We, we, we start to move it. It starts to vibrate faster and it rejoins the rest of you. It integrates. And now you have more space within your body to be able to bring in more of that high frequency light and then start to experience more of that magic. So if you're looking to have more of those types of experiences, don't look out there. Look in here and work to create the space, right? That's what we do in a new you. In my a new you transformational intensive, it's working through the dark, the dense energy, the ego, quieting that down and allowing something bigger to come forward and take control. And that is your higher self. That is the new you. That is what was encoded into your DNA when you came in here, but you've gotten a little distracted. That's okay. You had the human experience. Now it's time for you to start to have the full multidimensional you experience. 
the amazing magic that is waiting to manifest in your reality. And all you have to do is learn how to get inside, find all of those areas of dense energy, all the things, all the experiences that you've allowed your ego to distract you from feeling all the traumas, right, throughout your life, they're in there just waiting to be felt. They're waiting to be seen. You get present. You allow yourself to feel this. You allow these aspects of you, these traumatized aspects, to be seen, and they can release. They literally let go. All the space, all the areas within your body that they've been clinging to, slowing down energy flow through your body, it lets go. And energy, consciousness, starts to move through those areas. Your chakras start to come online and balance. The energy moves up your channel and your heart, moves up through your throat, through your third eye, activates, and up into your crown. You get this connection with the universe. Not by seeking it externally, but by allowing all of the things that you've been distracting yourself from throughout your life to finally be seen. If you're ready to embark on that journey and really start to accelerate your process of healing so that you can download, ground, and integrate more of your high-frequency light, I'm sharing a link in the, in the description where you can schedule a free 15-minute call with me where I can show you how I can help you get on the right path towards healing, towards unlocking your purpose, towards getting connected with your guides and your higher self, and allowing that multidimensional magic to finally manifest for you. If this video resonated, please watch this one next. Thank you so much.